These 10 mistakes are killing your grades in college. I graduated last year with a 3.97 GPA in computer engineering from Georgia Tech, and I made all these mistakes so you don't have to. Mistake number one, skipping class. Unlike in high school, a college professor could care less whether you show up to class or not, and it can be really tempting to skip that 8 a.m. class on Monday morning. But here's the problem. Once you start doing it, it's an incredibly hard habit to break. The classes I routinely skipped, even if they were some of the easiest ones I took on paper, ended up taking some of the most time. This is because I had to scramble to find all the materials from the class when preparing for exams. Avoid this habit entirely. Mistake number two, trying to get through classes alone. Putting in a little bit of effort just to say hi to the person sitting next to you on the first day of class can give you a study buddy for the rest of the semester. Having a person or even a group of people to work on assignments with and study with won't just make the class more bearable, it'll actually raise your GPA. Attempting to explain difficult concepts to another human being is actually one of the most effective ways to learn new material. Not to mention, if you do have to miss a class for whatever reason, you're going to really want somebody to be able to fall back on to send you the notes. Mistake number three, not really reading the syllabus. The syllabus actually contains more than just the content that will be taught in that course. Every college professor has their own way of running a class. Focus on things like attendance requirements, grade replacement policies, extra credit opportunities, late penalties, etc. Some classes care if you show up, others don't. But if you're not careful and don't pay attention, you could be throwing away up to 10% of your grade just by not showing up to class. Similarly, if you do super well in a class, some may actually allow you to opt out of the final exam. Knowing and preparing for this can give you more time to effectively study for other classes. So learn your course's logistics. Mistake number four, not using class resources. My school had a tool called Piazza, where students could ask questions that would be answered by fellow students, TAs, and even the professors. Additionally, most of my classes had group messages created by fellow students. Chances are, if something isn't abundantly clear about a project or assignment, somebody's already asked it on one of those forums. Wondering when that assignment is due because the professor didn't mention it in class? Check the forum. Wondering if certain tools or if you're allowed to collaborate on a certain project? Check the forum. Got a bad grade and wondering if there will be a curve? You get the idea. These resources are invaluable and I wish I started using them earlier. Mistake number five, waiting too long to open up assignments. Some projects and assignments are deceiving and can take a lot longer than you previously thought they would. I distinctly remember in my hardest class freshman year, there was a homework assignment with three problems on it. No big deal, right? Well, each of those three problems had five subparts, A, B, C, D, E, and each of those was further broken down into three more additional problems. Needless to say, I didn't get much sleep that night. Also, this will actually help to keep the assignment top of mind so you're less likely to forget it. We're halfway there. If you found this video helpful so far, please leave a like and subscribe as I'm trying to hit a thousand subscribers. Mistake number six, telling myself I'd study on Sunday. I did my fair share of partying in college. I was actually the president of a fraternity. And I'd actually encourage this because I think a healthy amount of degeneracy is actually part of the authentic college experience. However, you should do your studying and your work before having fun. This will allow you to let loose guilt-free, and nobody really studies with the Sunday scaries. I personally found the mornings and the hours between classes to be the best times to knock out some work. This is because there's rarely a conflicting social event that will give you FOMO from not attending. Mistake number seven I made in college, not preparing for class registrations. I procrastinated planning what courses I would take next semester every single time, and it's one of my biggest regrets in college. Do your research on which professors are beloved by all and which need to be avoided at all costs. The professor you get won't just determine how well you learn the material it'll actually play a big part in your grade in the class. When planning your courses, don't take all of your easiest classes your freshman year. This will result in some really brutal semesters later down the line. Instead, spread them out. Also, if you're not a morning person, don't sign up for that 8 a.m. You're not gonna go. Put a conscious effort into designing your schedule and have backups in case you don't get the classes you want. Mistake number eight. Expecting opportunities to come to me. Remember why you're going to university in the first place, to get a good job. You have to work outside your classes to get internships and to start developing your career during college. Prepare for interviews, keep your resume and LinkedIn up to date, and apply, apply, apply. Your hard work and GPA means nothing if you don't have a job to show for it. The last two are a little bit different and don't actually affect your GPA. Mistake number nine, being boring. I personally didn't learn this one until sophomore year. Nobody likes the person who did nothing but study for all four years. College only happens once, so become more interesting, say yes to experiences, develop your personality. What I found so liberating about university specifically is if I didn't like something about myself, I could change it. So don't be the person who peaked in high school. Finally, mistake number 10, defining your self-worth by your GPA. Working hard in school is definitely important, but there's more to life than just a number in a class. This may sound obvious, but in competitive schools especially, it can often be forgotten. Predicating your self-worth on a physics final is a recipe for depression and anxiety. I constantly had to tell myself, if it doesn't matter five years from now, it doesn't matter tomorrow. There you go. I hope this advice has been helpful to anyone, whether you're about to go into college as a freshman or finishing up your senior year. Please subscribe as I'm trying to hit a thousand subscribers and it really motivates me to post more content. And as always, thanks for watching.